Folks, being prepared has always been something that I have cared about and always looking for different ways and different scenarios to help you guys, the viewers, stay equipped and stay prepared for whatever scenario may come your way. And today I wanna to talk to you about pocket survival kits and how you can truly build a pocket size survival kit. This thing is as big as an iPhone in dimensions. It's an iPhone 6 and just slightly thicker at just under two inches, fully stuffed out. So this could easily fit in a large baggy cargo pocket. It has a loop, you could easily run through a belt or throw it in a commuter bag, throw it in your glove box, throw it in whatever you want, but making it so compact that it can literally fit in the palm of your hand, but giving you enough tools and enough items to keep a leg up on a bad scenario, a survival scenario, whatever it may be from a power outage to something way worse to help you get from point A to point B, danger to safe zone. This is the idea and the concept Concept, keeping it on a budget and keeping it compact and small enough to fit inside a pocket. So we're going to start with the face here and we're going to look at this very first item which is a thermal blanket. These things cost like a dollar. Uh, they work fantastic. I've used them on several occasions for different scenarios. Not only are they going to keep in the heat and keep uh, out, you know, uh, the elements, rain, snow, totally water resistant, waterproof basically. I mean, it's not nothing's going to seep through there um, and really give you a leg up on staying warm if you have to spend the night or it's just a bad scenario, you know, you fall into a creek, a river, whatever it is, this is gonna definitely help you out. And it's so compact and inexpensive. Next up is the Maxpedition Micro Pocket Organizer. This is the smallest pocket organizer that they have. Thousand denier nylon, so super heavy duty. Teflon coated, so it's not gonna soak up the rain. YKK zippers, a nice attachment loop here that you can run all kinds of different attachments through if you wish. Good clamshell that we're gonna look at here in just a second. And again, giving you perspective, my iPhone 6 right there. I mean, it's just slightly bigger than that. Coming in at three and a half inches by five and a half inches by one inch before it's stuffed out and about 1.75 as it is right now with all the contents inside. First up, we're gonna look here at illumination. We have the UST Moon Force AAA powered flashlight. This thing's gonna run you about $15. It's just a turn head system. So you turn it to turn it on, to turn it up the opposite way to turn it off. I have had this for over three years, same battery, still running strong. This is gonna give you 30 lumens and it has a good throw. This would be great to walk on a trail, find your trail, find your way in the woods. I've tested it out walking at night in the dark and uh, on trails and it works great. So you can see where you're going. You're not gonna trip, fall, fall off a cliff. You can follow the trail along where you need to go. And it's gonna give you battery life of 50 hours. And I have tested that and it has lasted. So this is the second battery and the first one I drained, timed it 50 hours and it ran a little bit past that before it was totally dead. And so what's awesome about that, if, if you do the math, that would be 10 hours of darkness for five days if you were stuck out there somewhere. So you could technically handle five nights worth of darkness with this one flashlight and it has enough lumens to do what you need to do to get from point A to point B. Next up, we have a Light My Fire Fire Steel. This is the smallest, most compact one that they sell. This has 1500 strikes on it. So this is a great way to start a fire if need be. And uh, this will run you between eight and $10 and you know, no moving parts. You just have to have a 90 degree spine of metal and it's going to throw sparks and get you a fire, which is a huge thing to have in a survival situation. Got to have your Bic lighter, super simple. This would be the first way that I would try and start a fire. But if something broke, a mechanism got damaged, it got flooded or something like that, or just ultimately ran out of fuel, I have that backup fire steel to get me a fire and help me in that survival situation. Emergency whistle, you can get these on a lot of just free stuff. Uh, you know, it's great so that you don't have to burn out your voice and it'll usually carry much further. Fantastic system to have. <laughs> Always have a nice slim emergency whistle. Going along with that signaling idea, we have an SOL signal mirror here. Love this thing. It's going to run you about 10 bucks. has a walkthrough on how to do SOS. You can obviously start a fire if you had to. It'd be very tricky to do that, but you could do it. has an awesome eye relief right here so you can see the target that you're trying to signal. has an eye hole through here so you can run paracord for uh, lanyards and that type of thing and comes with this plastic coating so you won't scuff up or damage the mirror until it's actually time to use it. This is a great way to do long distance signaling much further than the whistle would regardless if it's ships or if it's aircraft or just people from very far away. Chlorine dioxide tablets, 
purifies water. If you have a water bottle with you or you come across water, even a plastic bag, something like that, you can put your dirty water that you're not sure about the contents of, drop these bad boys in there, and this will give you that fresh water and easy for you to consume. So this is a great item to always have those wider, watertight packages of that chlorine dioxide. And God created duct tape and saw that it was good. Duct tape, gotta have it, holds the world together able to be used in so many scenarios from medical to mechanical to everything in between. And so the slimmest way I've found to carry duct tape is get a used gift card, wrap it around, and now it's super slim. I got about 10 feet of duct tape on this right here, and this is gonna come so in handy in an emergency situation. Literally millions of ways you could use this thing. Multi-tools, I believe, are a huge aspect of any survival kit regardless of how big or how small now for the size as well as value portion of this system i decided to go and recommend to you the victorinox farmer this is about 30 dollars, and this has a lot of punch for its compact size we first off have that three inch blade there this is going to do a lot of work for you utility work as well as you know like feather sticks if you had to notches different things like that, food prep, whatever it may be. And at three inches, it's gonna give you a pretty good amount of reach. Then we have an awl, so you can punch through leather and harder materials as well as it has a 90 degree spine that will throw sparks off of that fire steel that we looked at earlier. So that's a great item to have there as well. Then as we go along, we have a wood saw, three inch wood saw, which is great for sawing down thinner logs or limbs. You know, you could definitely do something about inch and a half to two inches in diameter. If it was green and healthy and you had to build a lean-to or a shelter, you could absolutely do that. Um, you could do triggers, traps, notches, all kinds of different things with this and gives you a lot of outdoor um, survival capability, if you will. And then we have here a can opener as well as a smaller flathead. You know, you run into some sort of tuna cans, um, you know, vegetable soup, whatever it is, and it doesn't have a pop top, most do, but if they don't, you still got that can opener there and then that smaller screwdriver. Then we have a larger screwdriver and a pry tool that you can, you know, you can pry stuff with within reason and a bottle cap opener. So I think it's very, very useful, lightweight, and gives you lots of capabilities. I'm sure some of you are going to ask, so I'll just tell you. This is a TEC or Tech pocket clip. You can get these. I'll have a link in the description below, either Blade HQ or I'll see if there's on Amazon. They're about 10 bucks. They're a great little item to throw on um, multi-tools or knives that don't come with pocket clips and it acts as a secondary pocket clip, which is awesome. Now, eventually that multi-tool is going to get dull. So how do you keep it sharp? With a DMT credit card size diamond stone. Now there's lots of different sizes out there. Uh, excuse me, grits out there. This one is a fine, you know, you can get coarse, extra coarse, extra fine, but this is going to help tune up your blades. I use these regularly. It goes in my EDC system and I have used it extensively with fantastic results. You can even get two of them, maybe get a fine, get a coarse and really maintain your blades, not only your multi-tools, but other knives that you may have in other systems as well. Very inexpensive, going to run you probably between 10 and $15. Now, one item that if you don't wear regularly on your wrist like I do, I'd recommend putting in here. I have this constantly on my wrist, but would be for compact size, the Sunto button compass. This thing is awesome. It glows in the dark, very good, and it, it reads very well. It has a 360 degree face that is rotatable, turns right here. There we go really tight clip there on my wristband and then does have an eyelet to run paracord through if you wish. So you gotta have a way to get directions, no north, south, east, west in any scenario, in any location. And this is what I would recommend for this compact size. I wear it on my wrist, so it's usually not in this pouch. And finally, last but not least, what survival kit would be complete without a cotton bandana? Bandanas can be used in so many different ways from, you know, starting a fire, helping to start a fire, tinder. You can use it as a compress. You can use it as a, a tourniquet in an emergency. You can use it as a sling, a bandana, a head wrap. Uh, I mean, the, the ways that you can use this are endless, just like duct tape almost, and everyone should have a good bandana in their survival scenario.
Well, folks, there you have it all laid out for you. And I can't tell you that I love these gear items. I love the concept of having a pocket-sized survival kit on you at all times so that no matter the situation, you know that you have a leg up on that problem, on that scenario to help you survive to get to either the home or scenario that you know you'll be safe and be well taken care of. So this is just uh, to get give you a leg up on that problem and hopefully help you make it to your safe zone or your safe location that you're trying to get to. And guys, I can't recommend these items enough again. And always remember, check out those links below if you're interested in any of these items. I'll throw in a few other um, options for you as well. A couple different flashlight options, a couple different multi-tool options, a couple different pouch options. So maybe if you want to go bigger or cheaper or different things like that, you have a couple capabilities down again in those links over to Amazon. As always, thank you so much for coming over here, checking out the channel. Please subscribe, comment, like, share this video. Love to hear your guys' thoughts, answer any questions that you might have in the comments below. And finally, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.